Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Portal 2. I just finished recording the first one, so I figured let's get right into the second one, shall we? Also, I realized that they changed something. The Valve intro is different. I, d I haven't booted this game up in like, probably close to two years, so yeah. Now one thing you gotta notice right off the bat, there is a co-op game, but I'm gonna go into doing that right before the credits, so yeah. Let's get into this, shall we? New game. Ooh, blue. Good to see Carl. Let's get shut out. Let's get sharded to Stalwy? Hmm, I can speak English. Oh, what's that thing? That looks familiar. Well, the design's different, but it looks familiar and all the same. It didn't freeze, did it? Still recording. Please hurry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought it froze for a second there. This is the only time I'm actually going to be showing a load time, because these load times can actually get rather long. Well, I'll be showing a new load time every time there's a new load screen, because there are multiple load screens throughout the entire game. Now, I will be showing I don't want them once, but after that, I better need them out. Because they can get really long, actually. <laughs> Oh man, this is a lot longer than I remember. It's almost as long as Sonic 06 is. Oh, Sonic 06. <laughs> That's gonna be painful when I have to do that. Eventually! I should probably start my timer now. Hmm. Oh, I got a message. Good morning. You have been in suspension oh, hello. for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay, I can move now. Good. Ah! Good. You that is... That is loud. That is very loud. Uh... Let's put the master volume around there. That's good. A buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Watcha. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, but I ooh, yay, we can move. This, this is a nice little apartment, nice bed and such. But, uh, sorry I'm not talking at the moment, I'm kind of, I'm half, uh, someone's messaging me about a project. Ooh, that looks nice. Is that, how does that mountain look familiar? Is that Mount St. Helens or something? Oh, yes, yes, indeed I do. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Ah, uh, oh god! Actually, uh, wait a minute, is, uh... Subtitles only... Just making sure that's not my... Now, please return to your bed. Hmm. Good ah, night. sleeping is always this nice. Whoa! Floor. That sounds like a long time. Whoa, we left an impression on that, didn't we? Are you going to open the door Meet Wheatley, by the way. He's voiced by a famous comedian. He's actually... He's hilarious, by the way. The uh, guy who voices him, he's... Uh, yeah, I can speak English very well. Uh, he is... Ah. I need to learn to speak. Wheatley's voice actor is actually a professional a comedian. He's hilarious. Might want to hang on to something. Okay. Um. Wheatley. Yes, yes, I can hear you, but I can't talk because I'm mute. 
Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But <laughs> don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Yes, yes, I understand. Space, okay. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. 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 Okay, Wait, no. I'm on a Mac. I'm, I'm not on a Mac, actually. I'm on an HP. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Wait, what? Um. Okay, look, um. What's going on? What in the... Yeah, so I'm confused. Who? Um. Because you're a personality core? <laughs> Um. Am I gonna make it through? But honestly, uh, hmm. Yeah, you look like you'll make it. Just, just gotta get through here. Um. I, I just gotta concentrate. This looks dangerous in all sorts of ways. When the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables. Uh. Blame aliens. Or global warming, that's always a way out. Well, I haven't seen anyone, so I wouldn't really know. But okay, I'll go with that. The other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna be here in the corner. Oh, God. Good news. By the way, this game's soundtrack is awesome. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh god. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not I'm pretty sure all guns make holes in some way, Wheatley. Seriously, do hold on this time. Okay, good, we did it. That is one actually severely weak wall if this was able to break it. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um at least you're a good jumper, so you got that little jumping on your Yes, side. yes I am. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Alrighty, so let's get the game actually started for once. This looks familiar. Oh god! Hello, and again welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Why does it say again? Radio! Where's your Samba music? Where is the Samba? Beyond our control. Stop playing my Samba. Testing protocols. Testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support. Whoa, why is everything flying me thing when I pick it up? That's weird. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency uh, okay then. will begin in 3, 2, 1. It says 12. Wait a minute. We're the exact same person from last game. Yeah, we're still chill. Uh, but I'll get into other stuff later on with the plot. So yeah, we are literally doing the exact same stuff from the first game now. Although the cubes have been drastically decreased in size, then again a majority of the stuff in the game has. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. And they're going over the emancipation grill. Everything, most mechanics are the exact same, although there will be introducing more puzzle mechanics. And here's the first real load screen with Aperture Laboratories. Lights up as it goes, goes along. Actually, thinking about it, I think the first uh, freaking load time was so long because they were loading out that gigantic area in the dialogue, so that's probably why it was so much longer. Hmm. Still cutting out the rest. I'll find a way. I'll find a way, damn it. Okay, we're back. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. 
Why? You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Well, that's one serious design flaw. Ah, I remember this place. Luckily, they've changed it around a bit. You decide where the portal goes. Because <laughs> in Portal 1, uh, this was all just, this all happened automatically. Why the test wasn't like this to begin with, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, I'll be flying through this one a lot faster and hopefully much more professionally than the first one because, uh, I played this one a lot more than Portal 1. <laughs> Why? It's because it's my personal favorite out of the two. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. I can tell. Entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing. Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Ha! <laughs> if the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Well, that's not good. Whoa! That's cool. I've actually never noticed that little sequence before. Ah. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's this one again. Hey, you made it. Yes, yes, I did. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Nope. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Sure. Oh God! Hello? Stuff breaks on me all the time. How did it get down here? Yes, I kind of. Huh? I never noticed that before. That's that's chill. I've never noticed that before. How is that even there to begin with? Who drew that? Was that the Ratman? Companion Cube, Glados, doing stuff to scientists. Glados is creation. Why have I never looked at these before? That's actually really cool. Also, seriously, how did the portal gun get here? Oh, yes, that's good to have our old friend back. As usual, blue leads to orange, orange leads to blue. And I don't think there's an achievement in this one for going in one portal exclusively compared to the other. Hmm. Okay, down here. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction oh, with this one. military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught um, to read. Oh, wait. Duh. One copy of the laws of I'm still used to Portal 1 when I had both. <laughs> If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Okay, then. Okay, that was a very weird turn time for me during that load time. Very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz... Ooh! In three, two... I love me some jazz. You can't see me, but I'm dancing. Ow! Oh. Who hit the stop button? Not cool, dude. And luckily the test chambers actually lead one to another this time, instead of just having an elevator between every single one. Actually, was there an elevator between those two in the original? I can't remember. Whoa. Gravity weirded out for me there. And now the portal gun makes the sound whenever you pick something up. That's a minor detail, but it's there nonetheless. Great and the cubes light up when they're on a switch. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved Watch out! Oh god. That's what I was thinking of was breaking the first one, because I remember this breaking back in Portal 1, but I was thinking of here. Whoops! What's up here? No, just an office. Unreason. That's a word and that's a math equation. Oh god, math, run away. Run away from the evil numbers. Because as we all know, math is evil. Now this is a longer game, so there will be more parts to this, so the parts will also be a tad long. Yes, the parts will more than likely be closer to if probably a half hour in length every time instead of 20 minutes. Or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. 
Uh, where do I go here? I forget. Oh, duh. I am smart. Well, it didn't take me as long as some of the puzzles in Portal 1, so at least there's that. Let's see. Blue there. Wait, what? What? I'm forgetting things. Camera! I can't knock you down now, camera. But next time, rest assured, your destruction shall occur. Give me my cube. Uh, hmm. Blue one goes there. That knocks that. That lets that go. Time that so that goes up, and we got ourselves another cube. And it almost landed exactly on top of the other one. That would have been funny if it had. That. <laughs> well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Well, at least they're energy efficient, I suppose. Okay, which one is this? I'm trying to remember, based purely off memory. Yes! I'm still able to do that! Yep. Oh, it's this one. Uh, oh. Speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing goes out. Oh, wait, uh, I always forget about this little thing. I'll see you over there. I just love the fact that it actually makes this... Uh, I'm not sure why, I mean. I've always rather loved that thunk sound this cube makes. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. This hallway seems pretty much pointless aside from that dialogue. Yeah, at this point from on, we're pretty much in new territory for the game. Oh, the soundtrack. I love this game's soundtrack. Okay, go up there. Knock down the camera. Okay, let's see. What do we do here? Yeah, that's what I do, I think. Keyword being. Yeah, that is. Oh god, please let us both make it. Okay, good. I had that place in the completely wrong place. Whoops. So, let's try this again, shall we? Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. Damn it. Oh wait, no, I need to do this anyway. So that was actually kind of a plus and minus thing for us. Oh! Mmm! Ah! Ah, my face. This cube just kind of broke my face. That hurts. Oh, no, that's what we need the one up there for. Duh. We duh, dummy. There will still be times, by the way, that I forget what I'm doing in this game because it has been a little over two or so years since I booted this up. But comp compared to the three it had been since four to one, uh, I'll probably just still be doing better. Or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. And how they understand that? I love how Abster actually has all this dialogue prepared. Why would they do that? And then again, these are the guys who made GLaDOS, so they're always been a bit deranged. Sure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The oh, well, that's fun. Um, I, w I have so many questions I wouldn't be able to say them all. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, Wheatley! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Yes. Brave. Just look at me. <laughs> Wee! 
Okay, listen, you turned it on really slowly there. <laughs> lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So yeah, you kind of are, aren't we? Me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Okay. On three. Ready? One. Two. Come on. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? Okay. One. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! You actually can't catch him when you do that. <laughs> Now you can pick him up. <laughs> you're not able to catch him for some reason when he falls. Although, if you do it right, you can bounce him on your face for a while when you're doing this. It's rather funny. Convenient that that's here of all places. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Okay. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I'm turned around. Right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Well, while your back was turned. Oh. Pick me up, right. and off we go. Alrighty. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We go wherever we want. Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> actually, what's really funny about Wheelie is that he has like, oh, oh no. God, that's a oh, turret. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate um, it. Keep moving. Keep moving. In the game, there's actually like hours of unused dialogue, I believe, for Wheatley, and almost every single one of them is pure gold. Okay. Yeah, they do have rooms just for loading times over here and there, which is a bit odd. Oh, fun! Um... I think I know who he means. Yeah, remember that thing from the first loading screen? That was GLaDOS. This is the redesign I was talking about. She looks a lot better in this game. Do you know who ended up uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long hmm. chunk of time where um absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Don't touch him. Ah! Uh, oh, still held! Still being held. You think that's a great job. You oh. Like the grit, we're all fine. That's right, for some reason you can't let him down. I've always wanted to see if you could let him down when falling, but no. No. But yeah, as we already know, because I kind of just said it when doing that first portal, we are the same character from the first one, so yeah. Irony that he called, that Wheatley called the person ah, to took sorry, down I GLaDOS a uh, he. Ah, you yeah, probably, you probably shouldn't look down like this at all, Wheatley. Is the main breaker room. Who Let's needs go. this many switches? What could any one of these even do? Yeah. switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at. Anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand? Yeah. Can yeah, I understand. Anywhere? I can't see anywhere. Um, I kind of can't even see what's up there. So how can I see what the rest of these say? Here, you do it. I'm lazy. That's, uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, yeah, I can kind of tell. Ah, and we're brazing. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's not safe. I've got, it, I've, got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. You idiot! Power up I'm going. I can't escape. Hey, um, what? Um. Wheatley, we done goofed. A, 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 really? Um, You're going to have password route? Uh, <laughs> God, we're doomed. A, 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 you skipped B! Dude. Oh, God. Act natural. How can I act natural? Um... Well, it's only been about a day. I've been really but I've been good. You know, after you murdered me. Yeah, that was a good time, right? Um. Oh, this isn't safe. Oh God. Okay. Look, we 
both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. Wheatley! <laughs> you cold-hearted bitch! You monster. No! What are you doing? But since you went to all the trouble of waking me, no. No, 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 no. That's a flung fall. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Don't do Oh god, you bear. And we got a new loading screen. Which I think th yeah, this is actually a test later in the game too. It's kind of funny. So, Gladys is awake. <laughs> oh god, we're all doomed. Like, thoroughly screwed doomed, not just like... Ah, uh, there's kind of danger doomed. Or, doom doomed, like, from the game. That's a fun game, I need to do that at some point. Oh god, that's quite the fall indeed. Oh god, whoop! I'm not controlling this, by the way, you don't move at all. Oh god, convenient timing. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> My legs. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. I doubt any of them would have survived unless they landed in this exact spot. Once you find it, we can start Oh yeah, the dual portal gun at least. And she's opening the way for us, at least so uh, she's not as cubes. Was that a companion cube? Hi, turret. Was that a companion cube that just fell down in the lava? That's sad. There it is. Hold on. Come on. There. Good. Blue and orange are now ours. We are now the person we were back in Portal 1. By the way, one thing that I didn't explain in Portal 1 is that you actually had little leg straps around you that allowed you to survive long falls. That's how you did survive the long falls, actually. They're in this one, but they're actually a real boot. In fact, I think I can show her model off here. Yeah, we can. Our model is quite different. And you can see the boots. I actually think one of my friends has that exact shirt that Shell's wearing, actually. Uh, let's see, that is the way we came from. Uh, we go over here. Why'd I reach at the orange one? That was perfectly fine where it was. <laughs> I are smart. Oh, why, well, thank you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. Well, that's not I fun. Was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. Ah, uh, no, you're I'm not. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actual... Ah, uh, which way do I go? Oh, we go up here, that's right. Can tell I haven't played this game in a while, even still? I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. Kind of noticed. That's not fun. You underestimate us. Really? Uh, I don't want to do one more than one lifetime of this. Okay, that was a very odd time for me. Chapter two: The Sorry, Cold Boot. I've really let the place go since you but is it the knee of justice? Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. Okay, good. We, so you're good to be sarcasm. While you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Yeah, pretty much, if you remember the energy balls from last game, they've been replaced with lasers. Fairly standard. Oh, right. Nope. You need to make sure you're on this first, that's right. And we're good. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Indeed we do. Oh, this is going to be a much longer one, I think. 
Ah, uh, okay then. Which one is this? Well, why would you put your face in front of that if it shoots out a laser, Stickman? Okay, I just gonna be the last thing to show off. If these lasers do indeed hurt. However, jumping over them is just fine. Your model actually still touches them when you jump. The thing is with them is that you're actually immune to them while jumping. That's a weird little trivia fact, though. But, with that, I'm gonna need to end things off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Weedly is still alive! Yay! And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Portal 2. See you guys then.